Kia ora and aroha from New Zealand. In today's video, I'm first laying down watercolors in floral patterns and then will be doodling on them. You would have seen me doing some part of this video in my introduction to the April Showers Bring May Flowers series. But this is a longer version of that video showing the process that I go through while doing this painting. For today's video, I'm using Archer's hot pressed watercolor paper with a smooth finish and I'm using um, Purple Lake. These are Vincent and Newton Cotman watercolors and Rose Madder. And I also mix some turquoise later with uh, a green to make uh, different shades of green. I use a round brush, Raphael. And I'll make a list of all the supplies that are being used in this video in the description box below. I use two techniques over here. I use the wet on dry technique. I take a wet paint and use it on the dry paper. And then I use the wet on wet technique, which is wetting the paper first and applying the paint on it. And once you apply these paints, you can add as much water according to the shape of the flower that you require. I'm just doing abstract shapes, so you can follow this or you can make your own patterns. So for the next flower, I'll be doing a wet on wet technique. I'll be first applying water and then I'll be using these paints. These are pearl paints. I don't have a brand name on it and it's given to me as a gift, so I don't have a clue, but they are really um, beautiful paints with a nice sheen on it. You can't see the sheen on camera, but um, they look lovely in reality. And I do a mixture of both the first and the second flower and yellow and red tones and make it into an orange. So from this point onwards, I keep repeating the same steps as I did in the first and the second and keep adding a little bit darker shades to the flowers in the middle. I will be putting most of this uh, video on time lapse. You may change the speed setting by clicking on the three dots above the video and then click playback speed and choose whichever setting you want. I keep adding pigment and water to the flowers as I go and um, for the greens that I use for foliage and leaves, I will be using sap green. I have uh, blue and yellow mixed as a green also. And same with the leaves also, I keep uh, intensifying the colors and I reach here to the place that I like what I have done. And now I start the doodling process. For the doodling process, I take Faber-Castell's fine liners and I start with the, the 0 0.5 first. I also later switch to a smaller, finer tip and um, do these patterns. Now you can do any pattern that you like. If you have been watching my videos previously, by now you must be doing quite a lot of patterns. So just um, use this as a reflective and meditative time and before i put on some music and let you enjoy a reflective and meditative time i thought i'd take this opportunity to thank you if you are stopping here for the first time a very warm welcome and i hope you enjoy this video if you do, please consider subscribing and hitting on the notification bell to get more notifications whenever I put up new videos. And to those returning, thank you so much for your likes and comments. It motivates me to share my work with you. I'll be putting on some music from iMovie's soundtracks and it's called Dreaming by Helios.
I add some white highlights over here and uh, this is an acrylic pen you could use gouache too and I do a splatter of gouache white and turquoise blue and I hope you've enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new and thank you so much again for watching we'll see you soon